that is the Reebok Pump Omnizone 2 in its tricolor iteration. It was a gifted pair uh, from uh, the US, from the Reebok US site. And um, yeah, I filmed the unboxing yesterday as well as some of the B-rolls. And after this, after I record this intro, I'll be filming more, uh, more B-rolls maybe and uh, some on-fit. And um, welcome to the channel. This is Rai, another sneaker unboxing for you. Another Reebok sneaker unboxing. And if you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'd never miss a video. While you're at it, please give this video a thumbs up and share this with your friends and leave your comments down below regarding this specific sneaker unboxing. Uh, follow me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. And uh, without further ado, let's head on to the unboxing. So we have here the box. It's a little throwback of sorts, a retro, if you will. A GR box that says pump it up on top. For as long as I can remember, uh, the retro models from, uh, I, I would say, early 2010s to mid-2010s came in this uh, box. So it says here, custom feet. Reebok pump custom feet. Got some Reebok branding on this side. And same on this side but of course this bears the details so this is a size 10.5 us 9.5 uk the name of the shoe is the reebok pump omnizone 2 this was released back in the early 90s and was never retro or re-released until recently spearheaded by the colorway that was worn by d brown now let's open up the box so we have of course the tissue paper the white tissue paper standard across all uh, sneakers in general so let's bring out the pair look at that so it's a it's generally a white reebok pump omnizone with uh, blue and red trimmings or blue and red combination as color of course uh, this is a uh, a sort of trademark colorway of reebok across their uh, arsenal of uh, Reebok silhouettes or Reebok basketball silhouettes. This is uh, often called or often referred to as the tricolor because it has the white, the red, and the blue. This is also the colors found in the Union Jack flag as well as the American or the US flag. Now as for me, maybe I just have to uh, throw in a pair of yellow laces uh, for the Philippine theme or Philippine flag theme colors, right? right so, so hexalite and got the pump right here of course the design language is uh, sort of a transition from the 80s to the 90s now back in the early 2000s reebok actually released an identical pair to this one an identical uh, model but uh, it was a little lower in profile so that's the reebok omni light of course keyword light omni light it is it was a mid top version of this one this one is high tops but it's not uh not as high as the ones uh that came out before this one the pump omni zone ones and the pump maybe the pump twilight zones and the reebok pump the the pump itself the pump og that was almost considered as an ultra high tops and for years, Reebok fans, especially the purists, have been clamoring for Reebok to release the Pump Omnizone 2s. And now, here we are. So, let's check out the materials. Okay, the white part on the toe box, toe area in general, toe box and mud guard are made with genuine leather. Textured or tumbled leather, look at that. Really premium materials like we're back in the 90s. Look at that. Look at the wrinkles when you touch it. Let's check out the back portion. Of course, the blue part is also made of genuine leather. Take a look at that. We got a TPU material right here. That serves also as eyelets, part of the lacing system. So it's a two-tone color, red and blue. Let's go back here in the heel area. Uh, like I said earlier, this is also genuine leather. Uh, blue genuine leather wrapped around the heel area. So we got here stitched on uh, branding of sorts says here's hexalite with the look at the design it's a honeycomb design this is a technology found inside the tooling or the midsoles now on the lateral side still on the blue leather part of the heel 
it says here Reebok the pump stitched on now the pump for those who don't know uh, apart from the hexalite which is a cushioning technology the pump uh, is the pride or was the pride of Reebok back in the 90s and it is found in the tongue so we have an air bladder inside the tongue and we have this rubber unit on the tip of the tongue uh, with this basketball silhouette that says the pump so you just have to pump it up right like this one so the air will uh, fill fill in the bladder inside the tongue let's just test it and here is the release button <laughs> and it's working <laughs> it's working it's working good all right so fingers crossed on the other pair <laughs> let's check it out Although, uh, if I'm being honest, I'm not really expecting for either of the pump to work. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not seeing myself using this uh, very often. Oh, okay. Okay, so, <laughs> so I think it's not working. Let's try again. <laughs> Alright, so it's not working. Well... It's okay. Now, as mentioned earlier, the pump unit right here is made of rubber. The, this one. And uh, we have an air bladder uh, somewhere inside the tongue right here. It says here basketball because this is a basketball silhouette and the Reebok branding on the other side. For the collar, we got the mesh part right here on the outside. And it's it has thick foam for support. Of course, this is a basketball silhouette. So... It needs support. The mesh part on the collar can also be found in the middle of the shoe, both on the lateral and medial end on the tongue. Right there. You got also a red mesh part right here in contrast with the blue leather. Now let's check out the midsoles. Like I said earlier, this was released back in the early 90s during this sort of a transition uh, from the 80s aesthetic to the 90s. Back then, the brands were experimenting on tech uh, Reebok of course with the ERS and the Hexalite. Now this one is uh, well it, it's sort of uh, conveying or trying to tell us that it has a dual density midsoles but I'm not really sure if the retro has actual dual density midsoles. With the gray and the white parts actually separated from each other and we just put together to form the midsoles. Now let's check out the outsoles. So of course the same color blocking the red the blue the white and of course a little gray on it the red and the white parts has that uh, standard uh, herringbone traction and right here is the hexalite window it has that uh, honeycomb design right there uh, like what i pointed earlier when i showed you the hexalite branding on the heel right there hexalite for those who don't uh, understand is the counterpart of the air unit uh, for nike pairs Unfortunately, it didn't have uh, a set of extra lace or extra laces. It, it just has this blue flat laces. But I'm, I'm uh, thinking of throwing in, you know, a pair of yellow laces to make it a Philippine flag themed sneaker. <laughs> anyway, here are some more B-rolls and uh, some on-fit shots, some on-fit footage of the Reebok Pump Omnizone 2. I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I the Reebok Pump Omnizone 2s are true to size even if you're a wide footer. Well, of course, except if your foot is uh, too wide or only you can tell, then go half size up to full size up. Now, I almost completely forgot to mention earlier, we got blue insoles with Reebok the Pump branding. Again, this is a size 10.5 US, 9.5 UK, 44 Euro, and this was made in Vietnam. It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown As expected, comfort level is top notch for a retro pair From the cushioning to the support of the upper Well, I actually expect Reebok 
to make this comfortable to make this right because this is the first time that they actually retro this specific silhouette since releasing it back in the 90s I'm just telling you to fight for your dreams but it's not what it seems man it's hard to be seen when everybody wants to be king yeah they all want to ring yeah we all want to be free so show me what you got what you bring how you fight in the ring how you take a fucking swing do you got heart are you mean got some scars got some needs are you willing to go please i swear to god they all let me down i always fought just to wear the crown i'm off at these fucking clowns who were all taught they deserve an ounce it's only worth it if you work for it it's only worth it if you work for it i won't stop till they hear me now i won't stop till i wear the crown So the Reebok Pump Omnizone 2 is uh, currently available in various colorways and it retails around uh, $150 to $160. Uh, maybe those collaboration and special releases uh, may be priced a little higher, around $180 to $200. Uh, anyway, if you're based from the Philippines and you have no uh, US issued credit card, you may, um, you may opt to to ask for a friend from the US to purchase it because uh, as of now uh, Sports Central has hasn't uh, hasn't posted uh, anything about the Reebok Retro or the Reebok basketball line so most likely uh, they won't uh, they won't have the Reebok Pump Omnizone 2 uh, in stores so there's that anyway what can you say about the Reebok Pump Omnizone 2 leave your comments down below what colorways would you be copying and uh, yeah please like this video and share this with your friends and again if you haven't yet please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'd never miss a video until our next um, Reebok sneaker unboxing this has been Rai y'all stay safe I'll see you on the next one